I dedicated this video for Elsa. Elsa is in this iPad. She is three and eight years old. In this video, can be three and a half, three years and six months on this video. But uh, uh, I no longer go to her house anymore because she, uh, she went to heaven two weeks ago, uh, Tuesday, two weeks ago. And I met Elsa the last time uh, a little bit, a few days before the Thursday. It might be, oh, if, if I see the calendar, I can see what day it is. Oh. Oh yeah, so uh, Elsa went to heaven December 10th, Tuesday, and I met her the last in person, December 5th, Thursday. I went to her house every day, Monday to Friday, five days a week, but uh, uh, that particular Friday, I, I didn't have to go because her owner, the pet parent, Elsa's owner, worked from home, so I didn't have to go. And uh, uh, so the first, the second week of December, Elsa went to Silver Spring. Uh, her house is, see, I live in rugby Maryland so so does Elsa. Elsa usually lives in rugby Maryland but the second week of December she and her owner stayed in uh, Silver Spring it's in the same county so it's pretty nearby uh, because Elsa's owner is helping her best friend. Uh, the best friend had some uh, uh, mid, uh, uh, surgery operation, so Elsa's owner is helping, helping her and her children. And uh, so, so basically, Elsa went to heaven like four, a uh, few days after I saw her last. So I I stayed home for uh, either doing housework or preparing for for my other uh, part time uh, gig endeavor because I I do language assistant work as an interpreter and also I am a, a, a Airbnb host so I'd like to keep uh, maintain my house clean and then yeah the two weeks ago Tuesday Tuesday afternoon, Elsa's owner sent me text message that she couldn't find her. And turns out that uh, someone she knows walked Elsa off leash. And uh, uh, off leash is, in, in, in this county, the Montgomery County, I'm not sure if it is illegal or not. Of, of course, it's not suggested. And so someone she knows uh, woke Elsa off leash and then Elsa didn't come back. And uh, next day on Wednesday late afternoon, Elsa's owner sent me text message and uh, hey, MOP, please call me back.
and then I saw my phone and then oh oh she she called me but my ring got off so I didn't hear and then so I I called back and then Elsa's owner told me that uh, she found Elsa but uh, it was after she already went to heaven she was hit by a car and Elsa's owner found her, found Elsa, uh, not on the street, not the center of the street or corner of the street. Uh, she found Elsa on the grass. And then, so Elsa was badly injured. So she buried Elsa nearby the woods or for forest. And and then two days later, Elsa's owner uh, asked me if I want to have have tea or coffee with her. And then, oh, okay. And then, so I went and I, I figured out that uh, the, uh, I have to return, return the house key. And uh, uh, I, I was quiet about house key because I don't want to sound, I don't want to come off as if, oh, oh, hey, uh, when, uh, are you, are you coming pick, uh, pick up your house key in my house or, or something as if I don't want to go to her, go to Elisa's house anymore. So I was quiet, but Elsa's owner mentioned uh, about tea and coffee. So, uh, so I went, and then I saw uh, Elsa's owner already donated almost everything Elsa was using: water, pail, and in food bowl and prunk cutter and muzzle and stuff uh, so that uh, yeah and I uh, I told her that uh, she can visit us anytime uh, yeah anytime means we we may only have uh, mac and cheese or uh, pizza when if people visit us un unannounced. But uh, still, I, I am fi fine with it. And then, in Elsa's owner said the same thing. And uh, uh, I uh, in invited her for dinner Sunday night, but she's busy with taking care of her best friend and her young daughters because her best friend had a, uh, like a, a surgery, a surgery operation. So, yeah. And uh, to me, this it, it is uh, the last time I I lost uh, someone or uh, I lost someone or living being. Like the last time was twenty one year ago. That uh, someone who who was nice to me unconditionally. So, uh, see, right now I am 49 years old, and uh, when I say the last time was 21 years ago, meaning at that time I was 28 years of age, and that was when my neighbor uh, passed away, my neighbor back in Yokohama, Japan. Uh, 
my neighbor is around my grandpa's age. Um, the old couple who live uh, close to my parents' house, and they lost their only son when he, the son was 35 years old for leukemia, and then, and also they know that uh, I am a, a so-called strike number three child and like unwanted child in in my house um, i am a product of arrangement marriage and uh, i have two sisters who are older than me so that means my my parents failed to have have a son to carry family name and um, my neighbor kind of understand uh, what the what type of tension between uh, among my family and then they were nice to me because that time both my sisters are uh, already got married so I was uh, at the time my parents and I were staying in the house in Yokohama. And uh, yeah, the last time I lost someone who were kind to me, that was 21 year ago. And then, oh, hey, that's a long time. If uh, like someone like me who is 49 years old and then you didn't lose anybody be all those 21 years and I guess I did because uh, my yeah uh, people start going to heaven around the time after you are 30 years old maybe it like my father's mother died when I was 19 years old and my uh, distant relative passed away when I was 30 or 31 year, years old and then my my mother's parents passed away in between but uh, unfortunately uh, those generations uh, so my parents are baby boomers and then my parents' parents, are they called lost generation? So around those generation of people, they kind of look at their children and grandchildren as if they are pawns on the chessboard. So no affection or no uh approval or anything they they just treat their children as a pawn on the chessboard yeah which is why i say the last time was 21 year ago and of course elsa uh elsa is very loving uh she is she is smart but uh uh Oftentimes, when the, the hu human girl, <laughs> when the girl is smart, sometimes they are a little stuck up. <laughs> but of course, not everyone is like that. But Elisa is smart and sweet at the same time. And she was kind. And yeah, uh, yeah, this is why I was quiet for the past two weeks. And I, I am sorry I kind of disappeared without explaining what was going on. And uh, rest in peace, Elsa. I will see you when possibly a few decades later. See you soon. Bye.